completely handicapped accessible. Um, as we found here in Sonoma County, there's a great need for this and there's also uh, the county planning department has made it a possibility for people with disabilities to occupy a recreational trailer in their backyard so that they can be taken care of by their family members. So uh, you'll notice uh, all of our doors are three foot wide for easy access. We've got a handicapped accessible ramp coming up to the front door here. And throughout we're making sure there's three feet wide everywhere to get a wheelchair through. And we continue that throughout the building. It's set up that it could be used by anyone uh, and it can be modified for uh, handicap use if needs be. We can make tables with overhang so there's no obstructing legs. Um, but we've got customers that are enjoying these houses as is, where they're completely able. Uh, they enjoy the spaciousness of it. In the kitchen, um, there are not too many things that you have to make different to make them be accessible. Our kitchen counters are just two inches shorter than the normal 36 at 34. And we've left uh, open space underneath the um, sink and the cooktop so uh, a person who's seated in a wheelchair could manage for themselves. And we're using a smaller than normal refrigerator so that they would be able to reach up and get to the freezer compartment and access all their groceries here. Uh, we're using an open shelf pantry design so there's no doors to obstruct access to the contents. We've got a double door system that, that divides the kitchen and the bathroom so that there's a full five foot turning radius for a wheelchair here and grab bars uh, to get access to the toilet and an accessible shower with grab bars. And these uh, units can also be modified should this not be necessary. Uh, we can easily extend this partition and add more counter space uh, for when someone does not have a need for disability access. We have a bedroom that also has a three foot uh, doorway coming in. And this bedroom is much the same as uh, bedrooms in our uh, non-accessible units. It's the three foot door that really makes the difference. It can be modified according to need. Should there, right now we've got a 30 inch aisleway on the side of the bed. Um, the bed can be relocated or reoriented according to the specific needs. And uh, then we're just about to assemble our closet door on this section so there's a nine foot closet available in the private bedroom. And there is an emergency access uh, out of the bedroom with a three foot wide door as well. And when we site this unit, we would be building a, a sun deck outside and an alternate entrance and exit. Access from the living room, uh, we do have a sleeping loft, which would only be really accessible to the able-bodied. But we have uh, included uh, dormers, both in the living room um, and in the sleeping loft. Uh, the dormer in the sleeping loft allows for an emergency fire exit, and it also gives more light and space up in that loft area. And this uh, sleeping loft is really larger than our bedroom, but it's just a place to crawl up there and you can uh, sit cross-legged on the bed and look out the dormer. It's an ideal space for uh, a child or uh, an able-bodied visitor. I hope you'll Stop by. We're located in Petaluma, California at 1840 Petaluma Boulevard North where this model is sitting for your review. Uh, thanks for listening.